Hey guys, it's Tasha from Starring You, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a segment in MailChimp. Now, there's a variety of reasons why you would want to go about creating various segments in MailChimp, and one of the best reasons uh, you might want to create a segment is to make sure that you resend out your email campaign in the event that uh, you've got a low open rate and you're, you're not quite sure why, and you want to test out maybe a different time for when to send out your email campaign, this could be a reason for why you might wanna create a segment. With that said, you want to make sure that you don't do this <laughs> very often because then you're going to increase the likelihood of people unsubscribing from you. I highly suggest that you only do something like this every once in a while, especially if it's for a particular pan campaign that you're extremely passionate about, okay? There's a variety of reasons why you could go about creating a segment for your list, but this is one of the, the examples that I'm going to show you today, okay? So let's say I, I'm just going to create a segment of this uh, list that's called example, okay? So again, in MailChimp, we have the ability to create a variety of different lists um, for our opt-in forms. And again, these people signed up for example. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on example, okay? And guys, just so you know, I'm actually using a new uh, recording software and it's called Loom. So um, I'm just getting a little bit acclimated to it. So, you know, be patient with me because <laughs> um, I wanted to test this out to see how great this uh, tool is. OK, so here's my list and I'm going to go to create a segment. And again, for this example, I want to make sure that the people, um, that everyone has the opportunity to open my particular email campaign, okay? So for this example, I want to target only those people who did not open my email campaign that I sent the day before. And if you wanna do something like this, guys, if you wanna resend out your email campaign to those who did not open it initially when you sent it out, make sure that you do it within the first day or two of your campaign because if you wait it just seems weird um and it again do it with a grain of salt because you don't want to kind of piss people off and have them unsubscribe from from you for no reason okay so again we went to we chose our list we went to create a new segment and so now we go to this section that's called email marketing status so you need to choose what option you're looking to segment, you're looking to have your list resent to, your segment resent to. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? So campaign activity is what I'm looking for because I want to resend out my campaign to all of those people who did not open this list initially. So let's go ahead, click campaign activity, I'm going to click what um, opened. You know, if they didn't even open it, obviously they didn't do the rest of it. <laughs> they didn't click or anything else in that, okay? So I'm going to go to opened, or sorry, did not open, apologize. If they did not open the email, that's those are the folks that I wanna make sure I send out, resend out the campaign to. So we've got campaign activity, did not open, and then you have the list of all the different campaigns that uh, you have the opportunity to choose from, okay? So I'm going to send it out to this particular list right here, okay? Now I have the ability to preview that segment. So I highly suggest that you take some time to double check, spot check through a couple of the emails to by looking at your campaign report to make sure that anyone that is on this list truly did not open that email that you sent out, okay? That is the best way to go about spot checking and making sure that, you know, indeed you are setting up the parameters correctly, okay? So in this case, okay, great. I've got 75 people that didn't, you know, that matched that condition, they didn't open up that particular email. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as a segment. Okay, so uh, test example, uh, test segment. Okay. All right. And so I'm going to go ahead and save that. 
okay? So then I have the ability to actually, from this point forward, I can go ahead and resend out. Okay, let me show you this. So I went and created something called test example. So I have the ability now, guys, to go ahead and recreate another campaign and just send it out to those folks that I called test example. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so now I've got the ability to take that segment that I just created and go back to the campaign and resend that particular campaign to that segment. So I'm back at my campaign library and all I did, I, I went through and I clicked on replicate, okay? So it's replicating that same exact email campaign and then I'm going to click on saved or pre-built segment. And there you go, guys. That's our test segment that we just created. So I would select that, okay? And then I would actually continue on with the rest of building out my campaign the way I normally would. So I'm just gonna go ahead and then I would update the recipient count. So it's got those 75 people. And then I'm going to, again, continue to proceed with building out my email uh, campaign. It's going to be super easy. It's already built out. So the very first part is the part that you're going to have to pay the most attention to because you want to make sure that when you resend out this campaign, it's just to that particular segment. Okay. So then I would just go through the whole process. I would go through, you know, setup. That's all the same template, all the same. You pretty much guys could actually just skip to the end to confirm. Okay. And then you have the ability to go ahead and schedule. I, I'm, I've got my little bubble here, so let me move this over. So then you could just press schedule um, your campaign and resend it out. So again, you just learned how to go about creating segments in MailChimp. And you have the ability to create segments for so many different things, guys. I just created a segment based on campaign activity. But this is something that I highly suggest that you play around with and always make sure to spot check your the parameters that you created for your um, for your segment. OK, so that's very important because you want to <laughs> avoid any unnecessary um, situations that could potentially embarrass you. OK, so always make sure to spot check that. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care, guys.